Now, as promised, we are going to be looking at some more advanced ways of blending these effects together with layers. So let's uh, open up our shot here and let's take a look back at our film lab here. So uh, I'm going to look at some of the film stocks and I'm after actually a black and white stock here, something that has quite a good kick of contrast in it. So actually something like the uh, the Agfa APX25 there. Just check out the before and after. Now what I'm going to do now is not use this to transform our layer into black and white, but actually I'm going to use it to give it a bit more of a contrast kick. So I'm going to come over to my effect over here and instead of using my blend mode set to normal, we have a whole host of different blend modes and a lot of these you'll recognize from Photoshop or pretty much any other software that uh, supports blend modes. So these blend modes here, let's go to something like uh, overlay. That's maybe a bit harsh. Let's take it to soft light instead and look at the before and after. So we're now using that black and white image as our soft light layer. Let's um, just click on this button over here, which is our magnify. And this is going to give us a 100% view of what our current effect layer is. Uh, this is actually really cool to, um, to see exactly what a, a particular effect is doing while still being able to see the main preview over here. This also has the advantage of not showing us what the blend mode is doing. So we get a chance to, to really sort of compare what's going on within the layer. Actually, I really like what's going on with soft light there. And we're just going to take it down a little bit using the opacity slide tool here. So blend this back. Cool. And take a look again at before and after. So it's just really punched up the image really quickly. Uh, let's turn our magnifying off. But I'm not finished yet. So let's add another effect on here. Uh, let's check out the film stocks one more time. And this time... I want something to help with the color a little bit. So I'm looking for something that's quite special and we've got a whole load of very special looks. Uh, and in this case, actually, I think I might go down for something in a Polaroid. So maybe something slightly warmer. Yeah, I really like the tones of the Polaroid 669 with the cyan shadows. Um, I want to make sure actually that there's no grain in there. So I'll come to my parameters, make sure the grain is turned off and it is. So actually just looking through here, you know, there's so many uh, parameters that we can change and tweak and customize with all of these effects. It's, uh, it's actually unreal, which is also another reason why it's great that we have so many presets to choose from uh, at the beginning. So I love the tone of this. I can try and experiment a little bit and see what happens when I change it to maybe to color or saturation or something. We can get some quite uh, weird and wonderful little effects by experimenting here. But in this case, I'm just gonna take this back to normal and just mix this back slightly so that um, so the effect isn't quite as pronounced. So we can still see the effect. Let's turn on our before and after. So that's taking off that effect and turning it back on. So we've still got actually quite a big amount of the effect turned on and we haven't even turned it all the way up to 100%. So let's keep it at about 50. So you can just see how easy it is to, um, to start to build up some really quite complex effects using just a few layers. Uh, in this case, let's do one more. So if I come now over to our two strip over here, this is gives me a sort of two strip Technicolor simulation. I'm gonna turn this to the maximum one, which is the two strip six. And again, just blend that back. And I only need just a little bit of it, actually 20, 25% there. And that really gives me a great and unique effect that I can only get by mixing different layers together. This is a great feature that I have to be able to come in and blend multiple instances of the layer together using the blend modes here and also then being able to mix back those effects with the opacity slide tool and all of that directly within DFX.